urine dipstick test is a test of urine sample to check for presence of specific substance in urine like protein glucose or other things in this example the sticks are coated with specific reagents for protein and glucose separately when the stick is soaked in urine excess amount of protein or glucose in urine if present reacts with the reagent on the stick and then it changes the color of the band the depth of color change can also guide about a rough estimate about the amount of protein or glucose in urine and that's why this test is a semi quantitative test in this video it will be demonstrated how a urine dipstick test is performed for this we need a freshly collected urine sample a heuristics and a watch with second counting here our urine sample and dipstick are ready now we take out a strip from the container note that there are two bands over the stick yellow for protein and green for glucose our job is to match the intensity of the color of these bands with the color chart provided outside the container here one thing to note that the color matching is to be done at the specified time maybe 30 second or 60 second as per the instruction from the manufacturer after taking out the heuristics from the container it is dipped into urine and then taken out and now the job is to count on seconds for color matching 30 seconds for glucose and 60 seconds for protein checkup at 30 seconds we notice for the color change with the glucose band where we notice to have no color change that means the test is negative at 60 seconds we noted the final color of the protein band and matched it with the color boxes on the container here it matches with 2 plus protein that means the urine is having excreted protein in amount of approximately 100 to 300 mg per deciliter it is always better to have a urine protein diary where this finding of urine protein is mentioned along with the date of examination the test can be falsely positive that means the test is positive when there is no protein in urine it can happen when the urine is stored for long time and the buffer leaches out also it can occur due to presence of blood bacteria pus cells antiseptics like chlorhexidin radio contrast material and some drugs like cephalosporin in urine similarly the test can be false negative that means 
the test is negative but there is protein in urine this can happen if the urine is very dilute specific gravity less than 1.002 or urine is very acidic ph less than 4.5 or there is non albumin proteinuria albumin binds better to the dye than the other proteins